Hello and welcome to program 56 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and I will let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. So program 56 uses a volume profile to attempt to determine areas of support and resistance on the chart. It's a little bit similar to program 55, but in this case we're using a volume profile. So the way that I've calculated the volume profile, and just to show you what I mean, I've created a, a schematic here using some of the data that I collected from the program. And what it does is at the close of each bar, it adds the volume for that particular price level. And it does that for the whole data source, which is all the data included on the chart after max bars back. What it then does is resamples that data for the area that is currently visible on the chart. And then it looks for pivots in the volume data. So this is what I mean by pivots. You can see here we have a pivot because the bars above it, or rather the volume profile above it, is less than that particular bar and the volume profile below is less than that bar. So that is a pivot. Now I've called it number one because of all these other pivots, this has got the greatest volume. So what we then do on a chart is having calculated those pivots, we would then, and this uh, this chart is going to recalculate because we've just changed the uh, the area that's visible. But you'll see now that this is telling us that if we had a volume profile for this particular chart, using data going back to two months back in this particular case, after the max bars back, then you would see that the uh, line pivot, the volume pivot with the greatest volume would be at this level here, and then so on, depending on the colors. Now, these colors are user definable. So let's just have a look at the inputs. And the color with the greater strength in this particular case is red, but you can make it whatever you like. The next one, magenta, the next one, green, cyan, etc. Now, like program 55, you can also determine how many pivots you're going to show up to 20. I've got it set to five here. And then the strength is the number of bars, number of volume bars above or below a volume pivot for that particular price level that need to be lower than the volume pivot. I've got this set to three at the moment. And then also like program 55, you can determine the line style. And I explain that a little bit more at the web page for this program. You can also determine the font of the text drawn to the right of the lines, the size of that font, and also the side, the line thickness. And like program 55, this program uses a timer to, to determine whether the screen size has changed. And what I've got this doing is firing every five seconds. That's 5,000 milliseconds. And then also you can determine whether you want to see the labels or not. I've got that set as true in this particular program. So this program can be used with any symbol that has volume. Uh, so you couldn't use it, for example, with foreign exchange, but you can with uh, futures and stocks. Technically, the program uses uh, the dictionary, vectors, and drawing objects. And probably the code is a little simpler than program 55. So if you wanted to review the code and uh, see how this program is written, then I think this is a good one to do that with. I've also added comments throughout the code. And just a reminder that uh, this graphic here is not part of the program. This is something that I created using OpenOffice just to demonstrate the volume pivots. So anyway, I hope you might find this program useful. I'm going to make it available for download.